Meanwhile, the man accused of killing at least one transgender woman in Dallas is now behind bars. Dallas police call him a serial killer. Andrea Lucia live tonight, DPD headquarters, to explain what we know as of right now. Andrea? Doug, Dallas police arrested Kendra Lyles one week ago today for two seemingly unrelated murders. But a piece of evidence, his car, got their attention. Now he is charged in three murders and being looked at in a fourth. It has been a rough week. Malaysia Booker survived one attack. This time, I can stand before you. Whereas in other scenarios, we are at a memorial. She seemed to predict her own fate when Dallas police one month later found her shot dead in the street. Her murder was, at the time, one of three open homicide cases in Dallas involving transgender women, raising alarm in the LGBT community. All I do is think about them. At first, I couldn't eat or sleep. Her father, Pierre Booker, says the arrest of Kendra Lyles has brought him some relief, but won't bring back his child. I just never thought in a million days I lose one of my kids. I want my kids to bury me. Dallas police say Lyle's arrest last week for two other murders, the shooting death of a woman on May 22nd on McCallum Boulevard and the shooting death of a man on May 23rd on Coit Road would lead them to suspect him in Malaysia's murder too. Detectives recognized that arrestee Lyle's drove the same type of car that is believed to have picked up Malaysia Booker on May 18th. Major Max Guerin says cell phone data places Lyles at the scene of her murder. Police have not determined his motive, but Malaysia's father says he immediately recognized Lyles as someone he's seen in passing before. I never forget a face at all. I might forget your name, but face? Uh -uh. He plans to see that face again at trial when he shows up to ensure Malaysia gets justice. One thing I say is, Rest easy, baby. Rest easy. Dallas police are also investigating Lyles as a person of interest in the murder of another transgender woman, Chanel Lindsay. I spoke to her cousin today. She said she is hopeful her family will get answers soon. Reporting from Dallas Police Headquarters, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.